So before I get into this video, I want to fully make clear that this video that I'm making is in no way intended to be slander or uh, me trying to expose or me in any way trying to be malicious or have mean intentions towards the people that were involved uh, within this transaction that I attempted to make. And so what this is going to be is I attempted to buy a card from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint uh, when he made a sale post of about five or six different cards uh, that was by no means a claim sale. He definitely did not say that it was a claim sale. I'll start that right now. And that it was just a special like discounted sale. So obviously he's probably looking to just sell things rough right away. Um, I saw the claim or I saw the sales and uh, there was one card in particular I wanted to buy a first edition PSA 10 uh, Dark Hole. I got the card right here. Obviously, I don't need it that badly. I've got a copy of my own. But it was for $150, which I thought was a good price. And I could use another copy. I like the card. Like, it's one of my favorite cards. So having an extra copy, that's cool. So it was $150. I don't really care all that much about the card. I've already got one. $150. I got $200 sitting here in my wallet for like the past three months. Uh, I'm a very fortunate person in the fact that I have the finances to be able to purchase uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and collectible cards and still be able to, you know, pay for everything else. So I'm a very fortunate person in that uh, retrospect. Uh, but to get onto the story, um, once I saw the post, uh, I wanted to buy the Dark Hole, so I made a claim. And yes, it's not a claim post, but I did want to fully show that I was fully intending to buy the card. And the reason why I did this is because I do not have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Know, Mint's PayPal uh, information. So I could not pay for the card right then and there. Otherwise, I would have. I have the $150 for sure. I can pay that all day. I just did not have the ability to make the payment because I did not have his PayPal information. So I made a claim post on the, uh, or a claim comment on the post, and then immediately afterwards messaged him saying that I wanted to buy the card. I just needed his PayPal. And the one thing I do regret at this point, uh, now that I'm looking back at it, is that I did not tell him that uh, immediately after that, doing that, that I was going to have to go to bed. Um, at this point, when I, or, um, when I see the post, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I usually go to bed at 5 a.m. I have weird sleeping and working hours because I work second shift. So typically, I go to bed at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning and then wake up, I try to, at 12 or 1, 12, 12 in the afternoon, 1 p.m. So I made the claim comment. I uh, direct messaged him that I wanted to buy the card. Then I went to bed. And I think three or four hours later, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint replied with his um, PayPal. I was obviously asleep, and I'm a heavy sleeper, so no notification from my phone is going to wake me up. And then about three hours after that, so we're talking seven hours total after I've made the claim comment, three hours of him sending me the PayPal information. I woke up, uh, I looked at my phone, saw the PayPal information was sent to me. I'm like, cool, let me get up, put in my contacts, you know, get the sleepies out of my eye, stretch, get dressed. I'll log on to my PayPal and I'll send him the money, 10 minutes tops. And right when I saw that he had sent me his PayPal, he sent me another message saying, hey, someone else is interested in buying this card. And I'm like, Hey, no worries, dude. I'm going to pay in a couple minutes. And then right after that, I asked him a question of, hey, do I need to pay extra for tracking because I want to get at tracking on this card? And then right after that, just a couple of seconds, he said, oh, someone else bought the card. And so at this point, I'm just like, okay, what gives? <laughs> I mean, I'm fully committed to making this payment. I, I fully showed that I wanted to buy the card. The only thing that was preventing me from making the payment was that I didn't have your PayPal I now have it, I'm going to pay the payment, and you sell it to somebody else. Like, to me, this is just the rug being pulled right out from underneath my feet. Like, what gives? And so I'm quite frustrated at this point, and I start messaging the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint back and forth, and like, hey, this is pretty unfair, and it's like, well, sorry. I mean, and I'm like, okay, I guess I can understand you taking the for sure money instead of me maybe paying you. It's a shitty thing to do, I think, but whatever. I'm just going to get over it. Uh... We kind of came to an understanding of, yeah, I see your perspective, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint as a seller. Yeah, I see your perspective as a buyer, me. And then I just kind of decided, like, I was just going to let it go. And then 
I let it go, went to work, blah, 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 came back the next day, or came back, went to sleep. And then the next morning, I see uh, Yeezy TCG. I think his name is pronounced Yeezy. If not, I'm sorry. Don't mean to offend. That's just how I'm going to pronounce it because that's how I think it is. Uh, he made a post showing off that the Yu-Gi-Oh! Met was doing some really good sales. And then at one point on that post, he commented that he had bought the Dark Hole card for $150 and that he thought it was a really good deal. And so uh, when I saw that, I was kind of pissed off. Now, keep in mind before, I did not ask who had bought the card instead of me. I didn't care who had bought it. I was more concerned that the Yu-Gi-Oh! Met had basically sold the card behind my back when I fully intended to buy it and... All I needed was his PayPal. I can't stress that enough. All I needed was his PayPal, and this never would have happened. $150 out of my bank account towards his PayPal, a card sent to me that I wanted. Done deal. But, uh, yeah, so the Geezy TCG was talking about how he got a really good deal, and I was kind of pissed off. Uh, it's one thing to kind of muscle your way into something, and he fully knew I wanted to buy this card. He saw my comment, I'm quite certain, and I know for sure, 100% certainty, that the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint had put on the uh, post that he made with all the cards he was selling that the Dark Hole card was claimed but not paid for. So DZ 100% knew that I was intending to buy this card, wanted to buy this card. And now he is bragging about getting the card. So, I mean, look at this from my perspective. Like, I just missed out on something I wanted to get, and now he's bragging that he got it instead of me. Like, I'm kind of pissed off now. So I make a little comment saying, hey, I guess I know who bought that my claim card. And Geezy replied, yeah, sorry about that, bro, but you can trade it. You can trade for it uh, if you want. I, I want to curse a dragon anyway, so you can trade me that for it. And I'm like, this is just a huge fucking slap in the face, uh, in my opinion. And, and like I said, this is not meant to be a slander. This is not meant for me to be like, these people are shitty people. But, but to me, that's just like a huge slap in the face. Like, yeah, I got the card. You can have it if you want. Just give me what I want, too. And it's like, dude, I was fully intending to buy this. Like, And you knew I wanted to buy it. That, that was no secret. But I wasn't able to reply to him right away because I did have to go to work. Like, I needed to leave right at that minute when I saw that his reply came up. So I had all eight hours of working to kind of stew on that slap in the face. And I think it was a complete slap in the face. I don't. Your, your opinions may differ. To me, it was a slap in the face. And so once I got back, I made a comment towards the Geezy TCG, and it may have been a bit harsh. Um, you can see the comment for yourself. I was going to do screenshots and overlay of, uh, my audio over this video, but that's going to be too much editing, and I want to get this video done tonight and just be over with it. So if you want to see the comments that I made, um, I, I did kind of go off on him, telling him that, yeah, you basically slapped me in the face. You screwed me over on this deal. And now you're asking me to trade you, and you want me to give you the opportunity to screw me over again, basically? Like, this is just ridiculous. And and from my perspective, what happened here is that both the Geezy TCG and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint did what benefited them most in that situation. In the situation. Geezy TCG saw a card that he wanted to buy for a good price, and but knew I wanted to buy it and was intending, fully intending to buy it. And he stepped in and bought it instead. He cut right in front of me, pulled the rug right out from underneath my feet, did whatever he had to do to get a good deal for himself. And then the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint fully knew that I intended to buy this card, was going to pay, just needed his PayPal. I can't stress that enough. Needed his PayPal, that was it. And sold it behind my back to somebody else. And so Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint did the selfish thing. He got what he wanted. Easy TCG did the selfish thing. He got what he wanted. And I'm sitting here with nothing. Like, um, what about me? Do, do my feelings matter? Do, do my, does my say at all in this matter? I, what, what was I supposed to do differently? I fully showed I wanted to buy the card. If I could have bought it right then and there, I would have. But I didn't have the means to make the payment. And that's nothing I could do about that. Like, what am I supposed to do? And, uh, like, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint, he did not say it was a claim page. He, there was no claims on it. And it's his card. He can do whatever he wants with it. He can donate to charity. He can sell it. He can dump gasoline on it and light the fucker on fire. It's his card. But this is just shitty business, in my opinion. Like, this is just a terrible way to treat somebody who's trying to buy something off of you, who wants to build a relationship. Like, when, when I do business with people, I try to build a relationship, build a trust. Like, I want a buyer for, if I'm selling, I want my buyer to know that 
I am as interested in their interests and their feelings and treating them fairly as much as they are interested in buy and getting the product that I'm trying to sell. So it's, it, it's just like, I, I have a hundred percent, uh, feedback or a hundred percent positive feedback on my eBay. And I fully take pride in that because it shows that when people buy from me, they are fully hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed and nothing unfair is done. So yeah, this whole situation, it just felt completely terrible for me. Um, you know, other people's perspectives, both of these guys seem to disagree with me that nothing unfair happened. Um, yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint wasn't a claim page. And yes, he, you could say that he could do whatever he wanted with the card. You know, he could choose not to sell it to me and do Gizi instead. And that Gizi could have, uh, was perfectly fine and being, you know, being able to pay before me, basically. Uh, there was nothing else I could do in this situation. Like, what else could I have done? to make this transaction right from my perspective. Like, what else do I do? So this was just a terrible experience for me. This is by far the worst experience I've ever had as a buyer, as a seller, as a collector. And I've taken $500 and paid it to a person for an item that they didn't even have and that they didn't even send to me. And luckily eBay was able to refund me my money, good old eBay, 100% money back guarantee. But this situation was far shittier than the other one. Like. I cannot express to you how frustrating this whole thing has been and how terrible it feels to have somebody sell you sell something that you're trying to buy right behind your back and for someone else to just cut light in front of you and not give any regard to you as a buyer, as a person, to just say, no, nah, I'm buying this, not you. And to say, no, nah, I'm not selling to you even though you know, you're fully ready to pay for it and everything. No, nah, I'm selling to this guy because money right now. So that's my perspective. Maybe you disagree. Um, the Gizi TCG and Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint, both very popular people within the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I am expecting to get quite a bit of backlash from this. Like, I, Even though I've said it's not for slander, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are just going to take their sides. They like them. They're popular. Fair enough. But this was just a really shitty experience for me. And this is not something I would ever wish on somebody. Um, selling behind someone's back, not there, it's some, something I would never do. As a seller, I've sold many cards. I've sold many things. Never would I do that to somebody. And muscling my way in on uh, a purchase so to take it away from somebody else, when I fully know that they are trying to make this purchase and want to make this purchase, as a buyer, I would never do that either. So this is all around just poor business practice by both people, I think, and just a really unfair and shitty thing to do to me when you know they took the selfish way, they got what they wanted. I was trying to be the respectful person. I tried to do everything right, and I got screwed. So that's my take. Um, my Instagram and my eBay are down in the description. Check them out if you want to, whatever. I don't care. Uh, that's all I've got. And as always, thank you for watching.